Dear W124 friends, fans and owners, this is Ivica speaking. And in this video we are going to be talking about the pressure gauge, about, uh, about measuring the row pressure and the working pressure. After you have checked everything concerning the ignition, so, it's ignition cable, spark plugs, the rotor, the distributor cap, the cables, after you have checked that you have no vacuum leaks, and uh, after you have replaced the hoses, or you have checked that your hoses are not uh, loose, or they're, they are stiff or cracked and you have to replace them, then it's time to go to the next step. And the next step is the injection system itself. Now, the first thing we need to do here is to measure the pressures. We have two types of pressures. We have a row pressure and a working pressure. The row pressure is the pressure coming from the pump and it must be measured here where the cold start valve is. And you have uh, the working pressure it is measured here at this screw and uh, this one, the lower one, must be 0.4 bar less than the row pressure. For this operation you will be needing a pressure gauge. It's up to you if you want to buy the first class Bosch CIS uh, pressure gauge. It costs uh, some hundred dollars or there are uh, some cheaper ones for 60, 50, 30 dollars with uh, adaptations and so on and so on. Or you want to do that this job like me and buy something like this. This is uh, the pressure gauge. The pressure gauge that measures oil pressure in tractors. I've paid for this uh, thing about seven dollars, so to speak. But now what is not good is that I get it just like this. That's everything. And you have to make the adaptation for the row pressure to measure it. So the good thing, the good news for me, were that uh, this thread here fits the metal hose leading to the, uh, to the cold start valve. Well, it wasn't hard, I just uh, unscrewed the connection from the cold start valve, I screwed this pressure gauge in, and I started the car, I got my, uh, my pressure. Well, here the measurement is in kilogram per square centimeter. You can buy also those uh, in PSI, but the most reliable is and the best for you are those measuring bars. Well, now, as for me, I just measured this. You convert that to bar and you see. And now, how oh, it's done. 
Concerning the, the working pressure, as I've said already, it's measured here. Well, if we unscrew this one, let me tell you about the thread here. We have an aluminum washer here also. also. So you must know that the, the thread here is 8 times 1 if you decide to, to do this yourselves to make the adaptation. Let me show you mine. This, that, this is it. This is what my friend mechanic made for me as uh, adaptation to the to the pressure gauge and and now I'm going to show you how. Here I am. Well, something like this. Da -da -da -da. It has to be tight. This is one part and the second part now it would be for the pressure gauge and boom here oh yeah well some people say that before starting the engine, you should uh, disconnect uh, the, e the EHA. As you disconnect the EHA valve, then you start your car and you watch at the gauge. The target you want to get is between uh, 5.3 and 5.5 .5 bars. For six cylinder engines, between 5.7 and, and 5.9. Why should you do this? Well, if you experience pressure loss, increased fuel consumption and uh, lack, lack of power in general then you should uh, you should check uh, your your working pressure and this is how it's done i didn't want to invest too much money for this because this is one time use you will check this once and uh, the next time in who knows how much 90k miles or 150k kilometers but you must know how much your working pressure is maybe it's not 5.5 Maybe it's not 5.3, maybe it's 4.7, who knows? And then it's in order for you to, to see how much you will have to, to increase the pressure. You know, you increase that pressure at the fuel pressure regulator. Well, that should be it for now. That's something I wanted to share with you and to tell you what you will have to do. And in the next part, you will see some basics about uh, the potentiometer. If you liked this video, then please comment it, share it, uh, like it, and please subscribe to the channel.
please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel and click the bell to be notified when we post new videos. And till the next video, happy Mercedes Sync. Bye. Hey, wait, have a great day.